Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to show you a neat little uh, utility that was given to me or passed on to me by a fellow reader, Stuart. So Stuart, thanks a lot. And it's called Trace Wrangler. Now it's an alpha mode, which means use at your own risk, all that great stuff. But um, I haven't had an issue with it yet. I've used it quite a bit for the last two days and uh, found a little you know, idiosyncrasies here and there, but I wouldn't say anything as a showstopper. So all you do is you download this thing. It's just a zip file. You unzip it, you run it. Nothing to install, which I love. I'm a big portable apps guy. So let me just minimize this. So I've got a test file here called One Meg Test. Um, just me surfing the internet. And I'm going to show you how we would change an IP address. And that's what Text Wrangler can do. It'll change the contents of the trace file, the port number, the IP. You'll see in just a few more minutes all the details. So there's my trace file. In the first line, you'll see a get command. Off it goes. Here's my test. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this. And this is what it would look like when you open or drag and drop that file into here. And all you need to do is add a task. And that's what we're going to do here. And the task we're going to do is anonymize. And we're going to anonymize, anonymize the file. <laughs> wow, what a word. And it shows me everything I could do. So I could change um, the MAC address if I want, all that kind of stuff. But what I'm going to do as an exercise is change the IP address. Uh, you could do it individually by IP, or if you had an IP you want to change. What I'm going to do is by subnet. So what I'm going to do is say that if anything is on my subnet, 24-bit mask, I'm going to change it to 192.168, uh, um, I don't know, 99.0, 24-bit mask. There we go. So now I've added that. Now here's uh, just a couple of notes. Uh, the first is if you randomize your IP address, what's going to happen is it's going to change both addresses. Um, what I mean by change both addresses, of course, this will follow the rule uh, as changing to 192.168, and this will have some other random address. And what I'm going to do is just show you what that means. So let me just run this, and you can see it's going to run. It says completed up here, but down here it still says running task anonymized file. So don't let this fool you. It's actually done. It's, it's very quick. So it opens a brand new file, and there it is. Just open it up, and you can see... Um, See that destination IP is 2.211, and if I go back to the original trace file, you'll see it's actually 2.16. So not only did it change this based on my rule, but then it randomized my destination IP as well. So if that becomes a problem, which in my case, that's not what I wanted, all you have to do is go back to this rule, you just double click on this, and you can change this option not to randomize. So it's only going to apply this one rule and leave the other IP address alone. So again, if I execute, off it goes, status done. I'll open up my new file. And there it is. And now you can see the destination IP is 216.191. If I go back to the original, 216.191. But the source IP changed from 10.44 to 192.168.99. So this is kind of a, a helpful utility for the protocol analysts out there who have to do reports or need to change IPs or port numbers. Uh, you can also get rid of the whole payload if you want and that's what happened here is by default you see that payload is gone. Um, so if you did want to keep that get command for example the second thing that I've had to do is when you go through this You'll look through here and say, well, I, where is that? I don't see where it says anything that affects that. Well, if I come back up here to general, it says remove all unknown layers. That's it. So I'll click OK. I'll do one last execute here. Status completed. I'm going to open up that trace file. And hopefully the get command, there it is. The get command is back. So it takes a little finagling, a little, little, uh, little getting used to. It seems like a very good utility, and uh, I can see a lot of people using it. So the URL will be on the website, but it's uh, pretty pretty simple. It's just a Trace Wrangler. You can just Google it. Um, if you want to see here, uh, this is uh, by Jasper. That's a Jasper. And again, he's warning you it's an alpha build. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.